I couldn't even wait until I got home. Did y'all just see CNN? Did anybody read what I just read? I don't know if I'm late with this or not because I've been out. Uh, I've been out driving. This would make so much sense if this is true. And we know that Trump is not very smart with his cheating because his Twitter bots, um, they had like an exponential number too. The number of, uh, you know, it, it said that he won the Twitter, the Twitter vote or whatever, um, the Twitter war when he had the presidential debates. Uh, and then they found out that the amount of bots, it was like an exact number, extremely amount more. So if he messed with the election, that would be my missing link that I've never been able to figure out of how he got Jeff Sessions to flip, Ju Giuliani to flip, Christy to flip, and everything, everyone else to fall behind him. I, I still haven't pinpointed that, and I decided, I just made a vid video last night, uh, and I talk about, I break down Trump's entire personality type. Um, it's an hour long. And I don't think it's going to be any shorter than that. It's actually over an hour and I'm trying to make it shorter. But I mean, I break, I psychoanalyze him and I do it for the American media. It's like an open letter to the American media and I dive into Trump's brain and it's a scary place. But anyway, um, point being, it would be my missing link because the only other thing I could think of was that he bribed them because nobody flips like that. Christy and uh, Sessions, nobody would flip and Christy would never have said, Donald Trump is the only person to beat Hillary Clinton unless there was something going on. And I thought maybe it was Russia and the leaked documents, but all of that was bad and it did hurt her. It would, there was never any smoking gun. And so I've still been puzzling. I still been thinking, I guess he must've just blackmailed him or bribed him, but I was thinking blackmailed because Sessions and Christie and uh, tons of these people, they were all oh, the rain. They were not supporters. Okay. Uh, at all. They hated him and they flipped and all right. Anyway, this would make perfect sense, especially if the margin of uh, the win in those the states mentioned in this article is 7% in all of them because he couldn't cheat right with the Twitter bots. So whoever is rigging this stuff for him, uh, if somebody rigged the election, literally, which is uh, funny because that's probably why he was saying it was rigged because if he got caught, he didn't want, you know, oh no, he, he wouldn't want um, anybody to, I don't know. He would say something like, oh, you said that it's ridiculous and the election could never get rigged or something like that. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just, this is nonsense now. But point being, it would make perfect sense. And if there is a 7% error, if there's a 7%, uh, and I even thought if the Democrats win, if the Democrats won more seats, if the Democrats did better in their down ballot uh, races, then if they should relook at those election results because if they did then that would mean that Hillary should have won because I mean most likely because if the Democrats do better overall then that means that usually the 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 president of that party wins and the Democrats did do better overall the Republicans won everything because of the electoral votes but they did not win the popular vote they won more the Democrats won more seats like Democrats did wonderfully right so this makes perfect fucking sense Everybody, if you're praying people, start praying right now. And if you're not, start thinking positively. Because I don't know if you guys have seen, even if there's Trump supporters out there, the shit that he's saying and the shit that he's doing, he's saying that the president is above the law. He, uh, I hope if there are Trump supporters out there that you are seeing the monster that he is. Um, and I was even thinking when I made my video last night that he might have feelings a little bit. That was before I saw the news. That was before I saw he railed on the New York Times. He railed on the media. Lester Holt. That was before I saw him taking people into his office and trying to rip away their First Amendment rights and telling everyone that they got it wrong. And uh, that was before I saw him uh, say, oh, well, the American people knew about my business interests before I was voted. That, that was part of the deal. So obviously, um, and also none of these laws apply to me. You know, none of these, the president can't have a conflict of interest. Do you see what is emerging? 
Do you see a man that gives a shit about the middle class uh, or a shit about the economy? Absolutely not. The only thing he cares about is power and his image and his ability to do whatever he wants to do. So if you were a Trump supporter and this is possibly changing your mind, ain't nobody mad at you. I love you. It's okay. All of us like do things like this sometimes. It, the, the crazy comes over all of us. Trust me. You should see like some of the guys that I've like thought I've been in love with in my life. You know what I mean? Uh, but I'm just saying it's okay. Like we will welcome you back with open arms. If you come to your senses, uh, and we, we are still here. I'm just saying, welcome you back to the, Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I did get a little bit wrapped up. Okay, I'm ending this now because I have to drive. But anyway, check out this article and start praying or thinking positive thoughts. All right.